Retro design is still super popular today, and what better way to show off your groovy graphics than with stickers? Everyone can always use another sticker, and so today we're teaching you how to make your own retro badge sticker using Kittle. You don't need any fancy software like Photoshop to do this, and in fact, you can get started using Kittle for free using the link down in the description. So I encourage you to follow along with this tutorial and then see what kind of sticker you can come up with. Now before we get started, do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming tutorials, interviews, and tip videos that we post here on the channel. So with that said, let's start designing. So real quick, I just wanted to show you some of these amazing illustrations that we have in here in this category called mascots. They're very 50s, 60s styles, and they're going to be perfect for this 90s style very similar style for the sticker that we're gonna make, but as you can see here, I can just scroll for days, and I think you can have a lot of fun with these super professionally drawn, really nice cartoony illustrations. So let's go ahead and get started with our new project. We're just gonna use the standard set artboard size that you start with, and we could always change it later if we want to. So let's go over into the elements and the shapes panel, and we're gonna make a circle sticker. Now you could go with any kind of badge that you would want, uh, again, depending on what your printer can allow you to do, but this is gonna be really easy as a circle. Everything's gonna be contained in that circle. So here we go, we have our object color, this nice kind of retro style pink, and we're gonna give it this border with this kind of lighter red, this pinkish red for the outside. And then we're gonna duplicate this with Command C or Command V. And then we are going to make it smaller because we are making some depth here. We're layering things in this circle to put our illustration on. So we're kind of making it look like there's this little cutout in the middle here. We're changing the color to this kind of a softer tan, softer orange color. Uh, that's gonna work really nice with displaying what's ever in the center of our sticker. So we're gonna use this kind of uh, sunset beam style illustration here. And what I'm doing right here is just doing my best to line it up with the circle that is orange. So we have this darker orange on top of the lighter orange. I think it might be a little bit too intense. So maybe just something a little bit more faded kind of gives that retro faded effect, which is what we want. Now let's duplicate the back circle, make sure it's centered with the align tools. And what we're gonna do is take off the fill, but we wanna leave the outline because we're gonna place it around those two circles we put in the middle. And that should take care of any weird discrepancies or alignment issues because we're kind of hiding it with that, that outline. So it's a little neat little cheat there for you. And let's go ahead and group this. So you can right click and group there and then we can double click in the layers and make this badge because this is the badge portion and we're gonna lock it because we don't want anything to happen to it while we're adding more things on top. So now here we are in the illustrations section. And of course, we're gonna go back to that mascot section that I showed you before. So of course you could always just type that in up there in the search bar, but it's right here along with a bunch of other amazing illustrations. So let's scroll and find one we like. I really like this sun style, <laughs> this happy sun. Uh, and it works really nicely in the circle. <laughs> the sun is already a circle itself. But you can check out those other illustrations and you could do something really, really cool with, with any of them. Again, you could change your badge or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do here is just play with some colors a little bit. And if you're struggling with color palettes, we have several videos. I'm gonna link a playlist up there in the top left of the screen. You can click on those and it's gonna give you some retro color palettes, some vintage color palettes, things like that that will help you in trying to figure out the right colors for you. So once we're feeling good about color, we can start with some text. We can start adding text. You can hit the T button to quickly add text. And we're going to be using a phrase that's very familiar. I'm sure you've heard it, don't worry, be happy. So we can hit that transformation to put it on a circle and then we can use this little node down here to move it to make sure that it's lined up correctly with the path of the circle. But we're gonna use the modern hand sans here. I like this nice thick sans serif. It's a variable as you might have seen in our previous tutorials, which means we can stretch this thing out super wide and it 
fixes itself so you don't have to may cause any distortion or anything like that so this is looking really nice the way it is i think this kind of rounded serif is really playing nicely with the retro design of the sun here in this badge but we're gonna knock out the inside to be white because I think that is the easiest to read here. Hey, if you are getting value out of this retro sticker tutorial, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. Now, let me know in the comments if you're planning to sell your stickers on a print on demand site. At Kittle, we are always interested in how people are using Kittle and it would help to know what kind of print on demand site you're going to use. Or if you're selling them on your own site or on pop-up markets or something like that, we'd also like to know. So let's start the conversation down in the comments. Now let's get back to the tutorial. But maybe let's play with it a little bit. I don't know if red should be the outline or something different. Maybe we can try the darker color uh, that you see there in the hands and legs of the, of the little sun, the little happy sun. But let's give it some shadow behind it and then we'll make it that kind of darkish blood orange color. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now we want it, we dragged it behind our illustration there so that the hands are on top of the type. And then what we can do is just tweak it ever so slightly if we need to. So we can duplicate this and then we can hit the invert direction tool and boom, we can double click in and we'll put be happy underneath there. When I click out, the effect takes place really nicely like that. I didn't do anything. Kittle is going to do it right there for you. And then I can just use these little nodes, these little anchor anchor points here, and I can make sure that it's right there on the path where it needs to be. Then, of course, I can mess with the border weight. I can I can change so many different things. Uh, I can make it uh, you know shorter, condensed, more wide, whatever. You could do whatever you want. The possibilities truly are endless with your layout, your designs, whatever you can make, whatever you can put your mind to, you could do it right here. Now, you can go in the project colors in the bottom right here, and if I don't like a certain color like that black, I think might look cooler as this darker purple because it gives that washed effect, that kind of faded vintage retro, you know, that you might have seen over time coming from the 80s into the 90s things get worn uh, and so you know the, this 90s has this nice character this aesthetic and i think that it looks a little bit better like that now we're going to go over into these uh this category called flower power and it's got a lot of really really cool uh kind of groovy 60s 60s ish uh, retro style illustrations these little icons and things like that so I'm just adding a little bit of extra visual interest. Now you can go over to the layers and you can drag it underneath so that it's behind our little sun person. Of course, you want to make sure you're labeling all of your layers so you don't miss anything. And then what I'm going to do is speed up through this process of trying to find some colors that work well. I want to make sure that the colors match well, but I don't want it to be too intense. So we're going to add a couple other spot element things like this uh, groovy kind of psychedelic flower here. And I'm going to change the colors to be that same color as the blood orange. Now, this it looks a little bit weird with things stacked on top of each other, but that's okay because we're going to duplicate our mascot and do something really cool. So I'm going to take the top one and move it over ever so slightly. And then what I can do is I can go back to the second one and we're going to make this kind of cool shadow effect. So I'm just going to turn everything to white. All of the colors in that bottom mascot we're going to make white and it kind of gives it this cut out shadow looking effect which is really really cool and so boom now that kind of uh, spot element there in the back that groovy flower looks really cool behind that shadow of the of our happy sun there and then of course we can group that we can we can put it together to make sure that we move both of those together at the same time over in the layers panel so now what i'm going to do is speed up through adding just a couple of other elements for some visual interest and i think what might be really cool is if we add a speech bubble and we're going to put something in the speech bubble of course uh, but first before we do that i think we need to fill some space over on the left and right of don't worry and be happy so i'm just going to put bullet points there uh, that you can find by going to the glyphs section of your font whatever font that you choose make sure those align and then of course you can group them together uh, and then we can start working on the rest of our little spot elements just to make sure things are kind of shining we want this kind of shiny retro effect and then we can move on to our little speech bubble so boom there's a little speech bu bubble and i think it'd be cute if we put a heart in there i think that would be really a nice little addition of course he's saying be happy so he's spreading love of course so we can go back up here 
your heart is in your basic shapes there along with so many other things. Then we can tweak our little colors and boom. I think this layout is looking really nice and I can imagine what it would be on a sticker really, really easily. So let me just show you how you might prep this for printing. So I've changed the color of my background, doesn't really matter, it just needs to be a nice stark contrast. And then what we want to do is go to that back shape, the outermost circle, right? And we want to make sure that we have kind of a cut, a die cut line or a bleed line, I guess, if you if you will, for stickers that we're going to change to white. So we've duplicated it. We have that extra shape that back there in the back. And we want to make sure that we have this uh, we have this space for the bleed to happen so that your cut doesn't come into your sticker. So again, you're going to really have to check with your supplier, your printer, whatever you're using. If you're using something like Sticker Mule, they really help do it for you. They give you a live preview. But of course, you could add that extra space easily here in Kittle. So you can see there, you want to add as much as you need, check your specifications, and then boom, you can go in here, remove background up in your download settings, and then something like a PDF is probably what you're going to want. Of course, if you did a high-res JPEG, you could do that too. But you have a lot of variability with changing your width and your height, changing it to inches, changing it to pixels, DPI, all kinds of things like that you can do right there in Kittle. Now, I would size this up like I'm doing right here to be the full size of the square because we want to make sure we have the utmost quality for all of those pixels um, and so you would just need to check your specifications and so here is our finished cartoon 90s design for the sticker that we have done it's going to look really cool on things like a water bottle or maybe your laptop or whatever else that you can put your mind to so I hope you have a ton of fun with this style of design well, that's all for this tutorial, but make sure you check out these other videos linked right here on my right. And if you're a true retro fan, then you can head to this playlist right here above my head. Click that card and it'll take you to a playlist full of other retro style tutorials. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it and don't want you to miss any of the upcoming tutorials here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, create magic.